Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So a couple weeks ago, I had gone thrifting here in our area. I'm sure many of you saw that video, but in case you missed it, I'll link it down below. Um, it's the one where I had taken my dad's old car to go, which made it even more fun. I have some of the thrift store finds that I had bought that day beside me here. And I thought instead of sticking them away like I often do and kind of wait until I actually need them to redo them, I'm gonna redo them right away and that way they're done and I thought maybe you guys would enjoy it while it's still you know, fresh in your minds, you know, some of the bargains I had found. So join me as I work on these and enjoy. saw these tins initially I thought they would make great little flower pots, which they would, but they would also make great little you know, baskets for a gift maybe for someone, or just a little holding container for you know, your bathroom or kitchen. I also created these little tags that I thought would make great little gift tags, or just a little decoration to hang onto something. Um, you had probably seen one of them on the bird cage. These are available on my Etsy shop as a digital download and they come in four different designs. Since I had my sprayer out anyway, I just use that to paint these tins here. Um, the color is mystified. It's kind of a light bluish grayish color. Really pretty. I did the same thing for these berry boxes, use my sprayer, and the color I'm using here is also the Mystify. I thought these containers would be cute and maybe an office, uh, you know, to use them as little holding containers for your paper clips and erasers. So I made these little tags uh, with, you know, office supply names on them. 
thought it would look cute to use a clothes pin or something to fasten it to the box. But you could also use them in a bathroom, you know, fill them with cotton balls or Q-tips or anywhere else that, you know, you could use containers to hold little things. Since the design on this jar kind of sticks out, I'm going to go ahead and sand it just to see if I can um, get it you know, more even with the glass because I'm afraid once I paint it, it'll show up. It's so important when painting glass to just apply thin coats at a time because it will run because of the smooth glass. I decided to sew these two curtain panels together that I got for a dollar a piece, sew them together and possibly use them for a throw for the front porch. I thought the color was so, you know, fallish, uh, might look good with the pillows that are on there.
For this cabinet, I am using Do It Best brand paint. Um, I did thin it down just a bit with water to run it through my sprayer. And the color is Spectral, one of my favorite white colors. The only prep work I did with this piece was just what you saw. I used crud cutter to clean it up and just dull the finish up a bit. So for this jar that I paid 50 cents for, I'll be adding a wire holder of sorts. Um, it'll definitely just be on there for looks. It's not something you want to grab a hold of to actually lift the jar. I've done this before, but not recently. I think I still remember how to do it. Um, it's really simple, and I wish I would have the label for my wire that I have, because I'm not sure of the gauge that it is. Um, it's not like a strong wire where you almost can't even work with it, but it's also not really weak where you're just afraid it'll break with one little bend.
I am going to interrupt my work here for a second and show you guys what Twinkle is up to. He has been tearing around the kitchen. Uh, my son bought him a bird from Amazon. At first I wasn't sure about it because I felt like it would really be a bad influence for him because I don't like if he stalks my birds at the feeder, but hopefully it won't make him you know, just go after my birds more than usual. But this bird actually sings if it is attacked and he has really played with it. Um, it's so funny to watch. Um, he actually has torn out some of the feathers of the bird. I will link it down below in case you're looking for something new for your cat to play with. I printed out a label that is actually on my Etsy shop that I thought would look pretty good on this jar. I found this little wooden handle on an old flower pot out in my potting shed. I decided to put it to use here. I just used some glue to glue the ends of the wire into the wood. And then I also glued the label onto the jar. This of course could not be, you know, submerged in water, but if I ever was, you know, to wash it, I would just change the label. First, when I saw this cutting board, I thought I would definitely darken it because I wasn't so fond of the color. But as I started sanding, it kind of evened it out more and I kind of like the color better, so I think I'm just going to leave it for now. I designed a farmhouse style decal that I thought would look uh, good on the wrong side of the cutting board. That way it can be displayed you know, as a sign until you want to use it. You just flip it over and cut your vegetables.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed working on these projects. So much fun. And again, if you're at all in need of a new decoration for your home, make sure to check out some of these decals that are brand new to my shop. And I hope you're all having a great week, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!